Hey guys, Spud here, and today's video is another episode of the Operation Burning Sands story. And today's mission had 40 pilots, Rios, Wissos, and Gunners, along with 1,000 ground units involved in this complex rescue mission. These massive missions really wouldn't be possible without the guys over at Fox 3 Managed Solutions and their fantastic server hardware and awesome service. Another key player in making these missions happen are the awesome guys over at the Digital Controllers. Their ATC services make these missions fundamentally more fun, realistic, and immersive. So big thanks to all you guys who showed up to get control for us. So enjoy the video, guys. base commander at Saikal Aerodrome, laid back in his office, his feet up on the desk, as he relished being able to finally relax for a moment as his base fell under the jurisdiction of the operational pause ordered by the Shah at the airfields along the northern front. His uniform was impeccable, as it always was, even here in the scorching desert heat. As was his haircut and tightly trimmed black mustache, as he looked out from the second story of his office, surveying his own personal kingdom of sand, machines, and personnel, all hard at work wearing each other down. The commander was incredibly unpopular with the pilots of the base, having started his military career in the army, driving and commanding tanks. He somehow weaseled his way into the Air Force and flew helicopters for a short time before his meteoric rise up the ranks. The dislike, though, was mutual. He hated the attitude of the pilots on the base, and thanked Allah it was so close to the front lines that it pushed out the fixed-wing pilots, and especially the fighter pilots, who he believed were spoiled prima donnas and westernized cowboys with overinflated egos who couldn't take orders, plucked from the most influential, rich, and politically connected tribes and families of the kingdom. The commander had almost cursed the turning of the tide of the war and the return of the fixed-wing Airedales to the base when he heard of the successes of Crazy Ivan and Blind Man in the offensive to retake the Palmyra oil fields. He groaned at the idea that it was the fighter pilots that carried the day. They were, after all, just expensive artillery shells, and it was the tankers in the sand and blood who should be getting the praise of a grateful nation, not these pampered brats. The commander then sighed, and he knew he had a mutiny on his hands, when he saw four of his problem children marching toward his office down the flight line, in full flight gear, carrying their helmets. An American first SOS pilot in his faggoty desert pink flight suit a female Ardath pilot with long red hair, who he knew was pulled from one of the richest families of Damascus, and who slept around far too much for his taste. A tall male Ardath pilot whose father was the second cousin of the Shah, and finally a strutting, cocky American Marine with a high and tight Yankee Doodle haircut. He sat up in his chair and called for his secretary to have the MPs on standby as he heard the doors fly open and the stamping of boots in the hallway as they marched toward his office. He looked at, up at them nonchalantly, taking a puff from his cigar as they burst into his office, saying to them, Major, Major, Captain, Mercenary, 
ignoring the ranking insignia of the first SOS pilot with prejudice. With the female RDAF pilot saying forcefully, Sir, you have to authorize these sorties. It's been scrubbed five times in the last few days, and time is absolutely running out. The American Marine chimed in, Sir, it's important that this mission go ahead as soon as possible. There are many lives at stake here. The mission is supported by the MAG at H3. The commander groaned and retorted, Don't you four know what an operational pause is? Just look at you. If it wasn't for your flight suit, I could probably see your ribs, as he gestured to the female RDAF pilot who he particularly disliked. And you, you were the one complaining to the maintenance officers about malfunctioning AMRAMs and avionics, he said as he pointed to the male RDAF pilot in front of him who had had a close call flying an approach down to minimums last night. You'll get some food, some rest, and make sure your squadron's aircraft and weapons receive the maintenance they desperately need. I don't need you going off to play hero and getting yourselves killed, or worse, losing these precious national assets that you all believe are your personal toys. The male RDAF pilot stated emphatically, Sir, it's the right thing to do. The longer we wait, the more Christian and Jewish rebels will be killed. The first SOS believes that this is the best pot. The commander cut him off with a wave of his hand. I don't know what this knuckle dragger from the first SOS has put in your head, but I am not going to be writing home to the grieving mothers of numerous helicopter crewmen and soft operators that you got them killed on a suicide mission just so a bunch of pilots and mercenaries can go out and play hero and American cowboy. It's not happening. Even as the commander delivered the thinly veiled racial slur aimed at the black American first SOS pilot, he walked over and placed a binder on his desk and calmly said, Sir, it's no longer your call. The CEO of the first SOS authorized the mission and you'll notice the orders are signed by the Shah himself. The time is right for the rescue effort. The rebels and embedded Sof have fought their way to Deir Azor, and they deserve to make it out alive. We are just here as a courtesy to your office, so the tower will cooperate. I will be needing 12 MI-8 HIPs, 8 F-16Cs, 4 F-A-18Cs, and 2 JF-17 Thunders from your base's squadrons. They're already prepped and briefed. I expect you to make amendments to the flight schedule and allow the tower to give us clearance. I would expect a call from the Shah and the CO of the first SOS sometime soon. And oh, it's Lieutenant Colonel, not Mercenary. Even as the commander delivered the thinly veiled racial slur aimed at the black American first SOS pilot, he walked over and placed a binder on his desk and calmly said, Sir, it's no longer your call. The CEO of the first SOS authorized the mission, and you'll notice the orders are signed by the Shah himself. The time is right for the rescue effort. The rebels and embedded Sof have fought their way to Deir Azor airfield, and they deserve to make it out alive. We're just here as a courtesy to your office, so the tower will cooperate with us. I'll be needing 12 MI-8 HIPs, 8 F-16Cs, and 4 F-A-18Cs, and two JF-17 Thunders from your base's squadrons. They are already prepped and the pilots are briefed. I expect you to make the amendments to the flight schedule and allow the tower to give us clearance. I also expect that you'll get a call from the Shah and the CO of the first SOS sometime soon. And oh, it's Lieutenant Colonel, not Mercenary. The four pilots all backed away from the desk and stood at attention and gave the commander a crisp salute and filed out of the office, heading out to pre-flight their aircraft. And the commander groaned under his breath, through gritted teeth, fucking fighter pilots. And he knew he would have the MPs waiting on the flight line for them and court martials filed for all four of the mutinous officers by the time they landed back at Saikal Aerodrome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the mission briefing for the Refugee and Rebel Rescue effort out of Deir Azor Airfield. 
This operation has been dubbed Operation Burning Hearts, and due to the operational pause on the Northern Front for aviation units, this mission has been authorized by the first SOS as well as the Shah himself all the way up at the very top. I'm Colonel Spud, as you all know very well by this point, and let's get started here. Next slide, please. The situation has been developing ever since the very beginning of the war here, and has been truly developing for the past several decades as the Christian and Jewish minorities within the Empire of Paran have been heavily persecuted. But with the failure to take the Blue Lake Hotel in the Bekaa Valley, and the intense strike and interdiction campaign across the heartland of the Empire of Paran, the Sultan has really required a scapegoat to retain his iron grip on power. This has meant the massive persecution and genocide of Jewish and Christian minorities in the central highlands of the Empire of Paran. Due to the large populations of Jews and Christians within the Palestine-Israel region of the Kingdom of Daimar, the aid and rescue of these minorities has become a major objective in the overall war plan for at least the Shah himself. Daimari soft teams and rebel fighters have made their way to Deir Azor airfield and have come under siege by Pirani forces and require immediate extraction. Due to conflicting priorities in the war effort, the rescue attempt has been delayed several times, but the situation has now become absolutely critical. Below here we can see an overall map of the area of Deir Azor airfield, and it lays out essentially the target area for the XCAS and CAS aircraft. Um, over the top of Deir Azor airfield, the ingress route for our rescue helicopters, the CAS hold stack to the south of Deir Azor airfield, as well as the two free fire kill boxes along the Euphrates River Valley for our SCAR flights. Off to the west there is also the bar cap station for our cap flight as well. Next slide please. Commander's intent for today is rescue members of the Jewish and Christian rebel groups and refugees that have survived the genocide of these groups in the wake of the new war here. The latest METAR that was collected from H3 Main Airfield and the automated uh, weather station there, at 1453 local time, uh, wind was 300 at 10 knots with 10 statute miles plus visibility. Scattered clouds are up at 140 and the temperature is 15 degrees Celsius with a dew point of negative 5. Altimeter is 3001 and peak winds were 300 at 20 knots 45 minutes after the hour so it could be a little gusty out there. Transport objectives of course are going to be to push into Pirani territory, land at Deir Azor airfield and extract rebels and refugees and then return to Palmyra airfield safely. XCAS and CAS objectives will be to provide transport, uh, protect transport helos while on the ground at Deir Azor airfield. DAD objective is to destroy enemy air defense units in the Euphrates River Valley that threaten coalition aircraft. The bar cap objective is to provide barrier cap to prevent EPAF aircraft from threatening coalition forces in the air or on the ground. We do have a kind of tacit agreement with Islamic Emirates of Persia Air Force uh, personnel through back channels that they will not scramble to intercept any effort for the rescue of rebels and refugees as they politically have no stake in uh, the persecution of these minorities. Bullseye for today is Deir Azor Airfield. ROE, flight into the Empire of Paran is authorized of course. And for the air-to-air -air IFF, two-factor IFF is required. Whether that be uh, electronic, uh, which is going to be your internal IFF systems, and then following with an outlaw call for that bandit, a TGP uh, uh, capture on that aircraft using your Mark I eyeball to determine that it is in fact an enemy aircraft, and of course an AIC declaring that target hostile. If a fur ball develops, so that way a, a tight dogfight, visual confirmation only. Don't bother with ray gun calls. Everyone is going to be extremely busy. Uh, do the absolute best you can to ensure that you're not going to fire upon a friendly aircraft. Next slide, please. For the rescue effort timeline today, we're gonna to be stepping to our aircraft at 1540 local time in uh, Northern Kingdom of Daimar time. Uh, the 
at vol minus two is going to be the roll call to ensure all assets are on the way to the target areas and are holding either at the tanker tracks or are starting to push into their target areas as required. At 16.15 local time, that's going to be vol plus zero, and that is going to be the time for the bar cap, scar, and diad to push to the target areas, as well as for a transport helos to cross the border into the empire of Paran. At 16.45 local time, at vol plus 30, we expect XCAS and FAC A to be on station. I'll be flying as the FAC A at NAJ of 17 Thunder, and those XCAS aircraft need to be in the CAS stack at 1645 local. 1715 local time is going to be Vol plus 60, and this is what we have scheduled for the transport helos to land. Now they may be able to fly to the airfield a little bit faster than that, but we gave them a bit of wiggle room in case they have to avoid and fly around any potential defenses that may, they may come up upon on their push to the target. At 16 or 17.45 local time, at vol plus 90, the helos are scheduled to take off. We expect them to be on the ground for roughly 30 minutes to vet the rebels that they're going to take on board, load them on board, and then be able to take off. At 17.55 local time, FAC A, XCAS, Vol, and SCAR flights are cleared to egress from the target area. That's going to be vol plus, uh, what's it going to be, vol plus... Uh, 120 minutes, that was an error on the slide here. At 18.45 local, at vol plus 150 minutes, helos are scheduled to cross back into friendly territory. Next slide, please. Transport flights will be taking off from Palmyra Airfield, the newly recaptured airfield, and ingress into Pirani airspace using the M20 highway as a navigational aid to Deer Azor Airfield. MI-8 hips will remain on the ground expected for about 30 minutes for loading. The commander's intent, of course, is to land safely at Deir Azor and extract rebels and refugees. Keep in mind here that some maps do uh, show the M20 highway as Highway 58, and it is the main highway that was constructed by the British during the Empire times uh, between Deir Azor and Palmyra oil fields. So moving on from there, next slide please. We have our XCAS and CAS uh, flights here, and we have a zoomed in picture of what that's gonna look like for you guys. Essentially, this is going to be pre-planned on-call CAS controlled by a FAC A. Hold between waypoints two and three while awaiting tasking and or nine line. Pre-planned IP and egress points are also on the map here. So you're going to ingress to the target via the IP point and then egress to the southwest so that way you can return back to the cast stack as easily as possible. Keep in mind that uh, we are expecting a pretty huge fight down there so if things, tend, will, if things may tend to dissolve and we may need to uh, kind of skip the nine lines and get a quick uh, attack onto a target. Next slide please. For the SCAR aircraft here, you guys are going to be providing strike coordination and reconnaissance in the designated kill boxes to the north and south of Deer Azor Airfield in the Euphrates River Valley. Your, the commander's intent for you guys is to prevent Paran Army reinforcements from reaching Deer Azor Airfield. Keep in mind that there are no friendly personnel within your kill boxes and you are weapons free on any armed vehicles or personnel that you find within your kill boxes. We can see on the map here laid out the corners of your kill box and you'll all have four waypoints in your INS of your aircraft to lay out what that kill box looks like out in front of you. Next slide please. Bar cap will be holding between waypoints three and four with the commander's intent of providing defensive counter air uh, rescue effort, uh, defensive counter air for the rescue effort itself. Uh, so you guys are gonna be in perfect position there at the uh, bar cap hold points to ensure that you can block any enemy aircraft from reaching Deer Azor airfield. So please, if you do get committed on a bandit, please reposition back to that cap station so that way you guys are back into position to provide that good barrier cap between the enemy airfields to the west and the friendly operation occurring at Deer Azor to the east. For the Diad flights, 
Pretty simple for you guys, you just have one waypoint on top of De Resort Airfield there to worry about within the Euphrates River Valley area. And you are set to destroy any enemy air defense units in the Euphrates River Valley that could potentially threaten coalition aircraft. You're going to provide DAD and CAD support for the rescue effort. Please prioritize SAMs over AAA units, but if no SAMs can be found, then AAA becomes a very valid target. If no air defense units can be found, then your bombs can be used at, within the CAS effort around Deer Azor airfield. For the playbook today, a little bit more in depth. We'll pretty much let most of you guys go through this in your own individual flight briefings. But transports are going to push at Vol plus zero, along with the Diad, Bar Cap, as well as the Scar flights. For the cast flights, you're going to be unloading from the MI-8s and then you're going to commandeer any airworthy MI-24 Hinds abandoned at Deers or Airfield. There are at least eight known MI-24Ps that are abandoned on the airfield. However, it is unknown how many of those aircraft are going to be actually airworthy. In satellite photography, they all appear to be prior armed. They just seem to have been abandoned when the uh, Rebels and soft teams retook Deer's or Airfield in preparation for being uh, rescued. XCAS, like we said before, you guys are going to be on station at Vol plus 30 and ready to receive targets. So at that point, basically because it's going to be a pretty long Vol time today, I recommend stepping to your aircraft and either delaying your takeoff in order to save fuel and to make it on station at Vol plus 30, or take off and hit the tankers that are going to be on station at the tanker tracks. Uh, let's see here. Basically, another kind of big thing here for the transport pilots is make sure that you don't get uh, the names of the highway that you're going to be following uh, confused here. On some maps, it's labeled the M20 highway, and on some maps, it's going to be labeled Highway 58. This is a pretty old, disused highway that's really only used by Pirani Army units at this point. Uh, next slide here. For the SCAR, for Emperor 1 flight, your kill box will be in 37 Sierra, Foxtrot Victor 10, Foxtrot Victor 20, Foxtrot Uniform 19, and Foxtrot Uniform 29. Whereas Do 9, your kill box is situated around uh, 37 Sierra, Echo Victor 92, uh, Foxtrot Victor 02, Echo Victor 91, and Foxtrot Victor 01. So for the F-14 flight in Dune 9, these uh, MGRS grids may not be all that helpful for you, but uh, they are there for uh, if you need it. Please cycle back to the tankers as required, and any remaining ordnance, if you can't find any uh, targets inside your kill box, will be used for the CAS effort. It is extremely important for you guys to prioritize enemy forces moving towards the Azor airfield to prevent those reinforcements from reaching the airfield and potentially threatening the rescue effort. For the bar cap flights, like we said earlier, pushing at Vol plus zero, and please do not deviate from the bar cap station, so that way you guys can be in an ideal position to potentially block enemy aircraft from reaching the rescue effort aircraft. Cycle the tankers as required, and then egress on shotgun and bingo, rearm and refuel as required as well to keep cover for the rescue effort. Next slide, please. For our comms flow, essentially we are going to be uh, you know, coming up on the ground frequency at your airfields, switching over to tower, then switching over to Damascus control. Once you're finished up with ATC, you're gonna be swapped over to Snoopy. If you need to get some fuel from the tankers, Snoopy will give you your tanker assignment and you'll swap over to the tanker frequencies. The, once you're done at the tankers, you'll come back to Snoopy and Snoopy will shuffle you to whether you need to go to the AIC because you're part of the bar cap flight, whether you're being reassigned to an air-to-air -air role, or you're being shuffled over to Arrakis 4, my flight, the FAC A. Pretty simple there. Essentially, just follow this flow chart and ensure you're talking to the right person at the right time. Next slide, please. For airspace admin today, departure procedures will be assigned via ATC. Essentially expect runway heading to radar vectors on course. In the cast stack and bar cap hold, the altitude will be assigned via ATC or TAC-C2. 
Left hand turns in the hold. Hold between waypoints three and four. There's going to be 30 nautical mile legs uh, for the holding pattern. And for arrival procedures, uh, that'll be also be assigned via Damascus control. Expect radar vectors to an approach. Approach procedures will be assigned via Damascus control. Expect ILS or visual to overhead weather depending. Next slide, please. For the enemy order of battle today, we can essentially expect uh, enemy fighter types to be Mirage F1CPs, the Pirani version of the Mirage F1C, the MiG-29A that is uh, pretty numerous within the uh, Empire of Pirani Air Force, and Su-27s are known to be operating around in Serlik, the capital of the Empire of Pirani. These were newly delivered in the first days of the war from the Federation of Russia. For surface-to-air threats, essentially the biggest threats that we're going to be looking at today are going to be SA-8s, especially for our helicopter pilots, and an SA-6 that is known to be operating within the Euphrates River Valley. Keep in mind that these uh, SA-6s are mobile, and we cannot get a direct bead on their exact location. SA-11s are at Abu al-Dahur airfield, and SA-10s are known to be operating around the capital of Inserlik. Uh, capital of Pumran, which is in Sirlik, of course. ZU-23 AAA, so Shilkas, are organic to Pirani ground forces, as well as KS-19 flak batteries with fire can fire control radars. And that wraps up the mission briefing for today. If there are any questions and concerns uh, from flight leads, please uh, let's go over that now. If not, let's break off into our individual flight briefings uh, and we'll get going with that. Uh, thanks, guys. Good luck. We're all counting on you. And fly good. Don't suck. Warning. Coordinates ready. Radio check on ops. Roger. Radio 
Bush inner flight 145.55. I'm gonna go over to the check. tower freak on calm one. Trees one two, go button circle one two two dot seven five on button eight for inner flight. Warning. 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 Elmira Tower, Arrakis 4 1, radio check. Warning. Lima chart. Warning. Ooh, one screen. Copy that too. I'm ready to taxi when you are. So, copy that too, so we're ready to taxi. Copy. Cycle Tower, Arrakis 4, flight of two JF-17s in the far eastern shelter is ready for taxi. That uh, taxi via runway 26, hold short runway 05 for Arrakis 4 flight. All right, ready? On the wrong. Horizontal 
Brackus Fort. Cycle Tower, Arrakis 4, just a, you want us to back taxi runway 26, correct? Yes sir, the runway 26 is inactive. Copy. Quick question for you. Go ahead. How do you change uh, navigation, like master mode, line. between navigating via TACAN for, say, finding a tanker and navigating via waypoints? of a long taxi here. Just 
Papa 6-4, Seco Tower, you're clear, you're clear to cross runway 205. I'm taking the right hand side, so if anyone does land on us, they can uh, take the left hand side. Spice flights, right, Seco Tower, you clear to taxi, after topper 6 flights, backtrack runway 26, hold short runway 05. Backtrack runway 26. Rockies flight, Seiko Tower, when ready, clear for takeoff on runway 05 QH 3001. Oh, was that for a racket flight? Go ahead and climb maintain 10,000, clear for takeoff runway 5, Arrakis 4, and flight. Topper 6, fly, you clear to enter runway 26. Two, do you want to uh, six, lead us out to the tanker? Copy. I'll let you take the runway first up here. Got a pretty asymmetrical load, but I think we should be fine. Um, I need to trim it a bit, but Runway is ours. I'm just gonna stop up here and wait on you. Take left. Top of six flight, do not take off on round two six. Alright, you give me the uh, taxi if 
I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. All right, one set. Damascus control, Arrakis, four flight. All right, we're runway heading up to 10,000. Over 1682, contact Damascus control. Damascus control Arrakis for flight of two JF-17 is uh, only heading up to 10,000. Uh, Level 200, and you said the first part again for Arrakis 4. Clear the direct uh, Palmyra oil fields. Copy that. Clear direct Palmyra oil fields for Arrakis 4 flight. Alright, uh, two, one's got to move. You're all good. It's uh two seven seven five five. Emperor flight direct oil field. Damascus control say angels. Two three zero. Two three zero. Arrakis 3, 
Damascus Shoal and Fight Angels 250 clear the northbound direct oil fields. Arrakis 4-3 uh, goes to Angels 250, uh, repeat last. Clear the northbound direct oil fields. Clear direct northbound oil fields. Arrakis 4-3. Control Fremen flight 2 F-16s, just past waypoint 1, 12,500 climbing. Fremen 3-1, Damascus Stroll, identified eight, Angels 200, cleared uh, northbound. Angels 200, cleared northbound, Fremen 3-1. Arrakis 4-1, uh, uh, push uh, Snoopy channel 2. Push the Snoopy channel to uh, Rackus 4 1. Emperor 1, push Snoopy channel 2. Actually, it's 1 uh, vector 025, uh, cleared clear to send to uh, 20,000 to get coming below. Trees clear for altitude change. Uh, right, go ahead and uh, advise switch uh, to detection there. frequency when uh, 20 DMB out. Three, four, one. Snoopy, uh, shutdown flight of three MIAs uh, going off uh, Elmira, checking in. Correction, Shadam 51, Snoopy, radar contact, Bullseye 24492 on the deck. Um, continue as frag, report any alibis. Snoopy, Shadam 5, we have no alibis. Snoopy, Arrakis 41, holding hands with 42, uh, checking in 200, no alibis. She doesn't like this loadout, does she? Snoopy, Fremen flight, 2 f 16 checking in, Angels 19. Fremen, Snoopy, radar contact, Bullseye 1 at 9 at 721, 19,000, tracking north. Uh, continue as fragged, uh, ETA check in in 5 mics. As fragged, check in 5 mics. Three. Snoopy, Emperor Flight of 4F14s, checking in as frag. Emperor 11, Flight of 4, radar contact, bullseye 202, 101 nautical miles. Uh, currently got you at Angels 23, tracking north. Uh, continue as frag, roll call in 4 mics.
with this speed, you good to go? Yeah, that'd probably be ideal. I'm just waiting for the check-in before I uh, ask for a tanker assignment. Actually, I'll do it now. Snoopy, Arrakis 4-1 with request. Uh, stand by. We got a time hack. Uh, 16, 12, in 3, 2, 1, hack. Last caller, go ahead. Roger, uh, Snoopy, Arrakis 4-1 request a uh, tanker assignment. Five forty miles, rotate that for Arrakis for flight. Ninety nine, ninety nine, standby, roll call. Okay, Texaco one one. Three five, EME fifteen from Texaco two one switching. Yep. Ninety nine, roll call. Shadam five. Shit out of five. Shit out of five. Any alibis? No alibis. Continue as frag. Stay on this frequency. Shy seven. Uh, they're no longer fragged. They're uh, they're gonna be at D Deer Azor. Snoopy copies all. Arrakis four. Arrakis four. Checking in. No alibis. Ready? I have them over there. Emperor 1, Emperor 2. Emperor, check ahead. Emperor 1, Emperor 2, any alibis? No alibis. Emperor, continue as fragged. Push Red Crown on 305 decimal zero. Push 305. Atreides 1. Atreides 1, 
Hermes 1, uh, say any alibis. Roger, we have Dash 4 DC. We are about to reach a tanker. He's going to try to meet up with us at the tanker. Copy, Atreides flight is plus 1, uh, F-18, stay on this frequency, continue as fragged, Harkonnen 2, check in. Tankers on the nose. Harkonnen 2. Copy, got it on radar. Fremen 3. Checking in, no alibis. Fremen 3 as fragged, uh, stay on this frequency, Spice 2. Traffic, 12 o'clock. Spice 2, Snoopy. Spice 2, 1, Snoopy. Snoopy Arrakis 4 is going to link up with Emperor 2 Flight. Uh, can you find out what frequency they're operating on? Tracking, tracking, tracking. Arrakis, Snoopy, uh, had conflicting chatter. Go ahead and say again. Arrakis 4 is looking to link up with Emperor 2 flight. Do you know what frequency they're on? Seven seven five zero, Roger. And uh, give me an advisory if that worked or not.
Emperor 1 2, you up? Ready to check? Our tankers turn around out in front of us, so we're going to go ahead and link up with them. I can't seem to get uh, our F-14s on the radio. Too. I'm going to come left for the target Currently intercept. tracking west southwest. Shoot it. Thank you. Uh, can you give me an intercept? I think I appreciate it. Switching uh, to frequency uh, 251. Radio check. Harkonnen 2 1 flight, uh, proceed as fragged. Uh, Harkonnen 4 2. Stay on, just get it. Rackets 4 3, radio check. Uh, got you loud and clear, Rackets 4 3. You on, uh, the tanker free? Yeah, roger that. Sorry about that. Uh, we were having a hard time Tracking. getting to your frequency. Tracking. 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 Alright, Rackus 1's joining on the taker. 4 1's joining on the taker. Rackus 1 4, Snoopy. You have your flight's inner flight on it. Two eight one decimal zero. Okay, that rack is four one's gonna tracking, tracking, tracking. Come in there, switching to a one decimal zero. Tracking, 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 tracking. Snoopy, from three, we have spike SA six tracking, to the north. Tracking, tracking. Rack is four two, getting spiked by SA six. Tracking, tracking. Yeah, I roger that. That's Splash. He's not he's not coming for us. Alright, you guys mind if I take the uh, left hand basket? Two's joining up on the or Iraq is four one's joined up on the ticker. Iraq is clear to switch. Yeah, but, uh, two will take right side. Oh. How about that Snoopy? Iraq is four one's monitoring you. Three is uh, observation left.
Cracking, cracking, cracking. Und zwar. Cracking, cracking, cracking. Move in, observation ramp. Cracking, cracking. Cracking, cracking, cracking. Cracking, cracking, cracking. Request rejoin. Two and three, we're gonna be on station in 17 minutes. to join. Good to go to. Copy that. Arrakis three, uh, Arrakis one and two are gonna break off and uh, start heading to on station. We've only got about uh, 15 minutes left. All right, two, one's coming right.
Snoopy, Arrakis for one and four two are done tanking. We are inbound to the target area. is for. Two, I'll push it back up to uh, two zero zero on the altitude. Zero, zero. Two push two eight one zero zero on com two. Is four one checking in. Rack is four one checking in. Snoopy, Rackus 4 1 FACA, you mind if I weigh in on that? Go ahead. Two, Which flight was that arriving on station? Two, that would be Harkonnen 2 1. Have yeah, the Harkonnen 2 1. Uh, go ahead and uh, proceed on station and in your hold if you can, just start reconnoitering the area. See if you can find any targets with your pod or air to ground radar. Proceed as fragged, show up on station early, look for targets. Roger, woke up. Slippy, shut up, fly, uh, passing our halfway point. Most likely ETA, 30 minutes. Should have Snoopy Cup is all. ETA, 3-0. Pushing up to Mach 0 0.75. 99.99, full plus 1-5. I repeat, 1-5. Northing three five one six zero two decimal one. Easting zero four zero nine 
three six decimal six. Mark type is your pod. Friendlies on the airfield to due north. Egress pre planned waypoint. Remarks troops in contact, danger close. Roger that. Lines 1 through 6 correct. Ready for read back for lines 7 through 9. Roger. Go. Friendlies, troops are on the airfield, troops in contact. Egress pre planned. Roger. Troops in contact, egress is pre planned. You're cleared hot. Advise when IP inbound. You, you still got an eye on me? I'm just really heads down in the cockpit and I can't really scan for threats. Copy that to you, I got you to the message. Snoopy, friendly three is top okay, dog, visual. pushing to the cast stack at angle 20. Friendly copies all, uh, contact Arrakis 4-1 on this frequency. Arrakis, 4-1 on this frequency, Fremen 3. Have that Fremen 3. Confirm your F-16, GBU-12s, GBU-38s. Fremen 3, all affirmative, 2 GBU-38, 2 GBU-12. Copy. Advise when on station. We're advised, Fremen 3. Arkan in flight, Arrakis 4 1. You're cleared to re attack that same target till it's destroyed. Arkan in 2, copies. Arkan in 2 to Arrakis, is there a chance we could get a laser spot? Roger, stand by. This is trade uh, Arrakis four one. I'm ready for spot. Code one six two one. Roger, ready for spot. Blazing. Uh, 
one, this is three, say uh, position with reference to the airfield. Southwest, roughly 13 nautical miles. Sorry, southeast, roughly 13 nautical miles. Have that? Let me know when you need another one. Copy that. Spot one six two one firing. Safe zone for them is going to be to the southeast. Repeat, southeast. Shut up, copy. Back A is going to have to attack this target here. Impact. Did you see the impact, Arkin in flight? Two, uh, I got the impact. Larkin. After that, two, you're cleared to re attack. Alright, Harkin in flight, uh, I've got my dash two on that same target now, so I'll find a new target for you. Harkin copies. Stand by for coordinates, nines. One through five lines one through five and six through nine will be the same. Copy one through five and six through nine are the same, standing by for coordinates. Let me know when you are running in. Two in from the north. Roger two. Watch for an SA eight to the north of the airfield. All flights, be advised, be aware of SA eight to the north of the airfield. Good check, good check.
I could use your ordinance uh, if you want to rearm and refuel. Arkanen, Arrakis-1 has new target for you. Roger, Arkanen, ready to copy. Ember 41 Pigeons, 25381 Palmero. Faggy, over to you. Roger that. Lines remain the same, new coordinates. North, 351550. Decimal seven. East zero four one one two two decimal three. Roger, Harkening copies. All lines remain the same. New coordinates north three five one five five zero decimal seven. East zero four one one two two. Three. New altitude. Altitude roughly 650 to 670 feet. Curtain and copies 650 to 670 feet. You're cleared hot on that target. Advise IP inbound. Fat A has target for you. Uh, we're, we haven't been routed into the cast stack yet or given an altitude block. Snoopy, Arrakis 4-1, Atreides 1 flight needs a altitude block for the cast stack. Or there are still vehicles left. Trades, Arrakis 41 has a target for you. Advise when ready for nightline. Last caller, say again. Arrakis 41, FAC A has a target for you. Advise when ready for nightline. That for Trades? A firm. Right, send it. Nine line is as follows IP. Pre-planned. Heading, pre-planned. Distance, 1-5 nautical miles. Target, elevation, 650 feet. Target location, 
north, three, five, one, five, four, nine, decimal, two, east, zero, four, zero, zero, eight, four, six, decimal, seven. Mark type is your pod. Friendlies on the airfield directly to the north. Egress pre-planned. Remarks troops in contact danger close. Maintain current altitude. Threats SA-8 directly north of the airfield. You're cleared hot. Advise IP inbound. Treaties 1-1. One, one. Reach back. Elevation 650 feet. Location north 351549 decimal 2. Zero eight zero four zero zero eight four six decimal seven. Uh, ingress from the IP egress pre-planned. I bet that correction on easting is easting zero four zero zero eight four six decimal seven. Rest of read back correct. I three one one copy that. That's what I got written down. Copy that. Uh, you're cleared hot. Advise IP inbound. Target is long armored column. Static. Prioritize Zeus. Treaty 1 1. Shrippy Shadow 5 is uh, two mics from the target. Are we too. cleared to come in? Is it, is it uh, clear for us? One, this is three, but best. Stand by three, Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Uh, three has spotted uh, infantry and trucks on the north end of the field, possibly hostile. A Come truck back. is north one as newbie, advise uh, on LC for are, Stand. Are they currently facing to the south or are they facing to the north? Friendlies are to the south. That, that is a hostile. If it's north of the blue smoke, it's hostile. You're cleared to engage. Run in from the east out to the west. Sound five. Uh, one, can I proceed that. Uh, Shadam, this is Arrakis 4-1. Currently taking a look at the LZ for you. Flight, be advised. You got numerous infantry uh, in firefights engaged around the eastern and western sides of the airfield. Looks like the safest ingress route is going to be from the southeast. Stand by for attack on uh, Zeus. This is three. Three has spotted additional infantry trying to get onto the airfield. Actually, under fire by friendly troops. I copy. Out of the three, you're cleared hot on those targets. Uh, attack as soon as possible. Attack as soon as possible, east west running. Three copies. <laughs> Uh, 
LZ is green, red, and blue. Sp separate your aircraft out across there. Be advised, you've got infantry to the east of the runway in trees. Looking way for a target. Looking looking for a way to engage this guy. Copy that three. Copy that, Fremen 3. Stand by for a target. Fremen 3, I want your eyes outside of the cockpit. Let me know when you have eyes on the green smoke on the airfield. Copy that. Fremen 3, what's your altitude? Angels 19. Copy that. Fremen 3, fly... Fly uh, direct to the airfield and let me know once you have the green smoke in sight. I'm going to have you do a gun run on the tree line to the east of the runway. Direct airfield, Fremen 3, looking for green smoke. Report on green smoke in sight. Harkin in flight. Do you have your target in sight? Negative. Couldn't find him. Uh, try to spot again, please. Copy that, Harkin in flight. I'm just going to talk you on visually to the target. Copy that. To the south of the airfield. There is a large fire with a large plume of smoke in a roughly square shaped uh, shape of small hamlets. Do you see that? Roger, visual. Copy that. Do you see the plume of smoke that's in the northwestern hamlet? A firm. There is a Zeus in an armored column hiding beneath the smoke in that hamlet. Copy that. Let me know when you have it on the pod. It's right in the smoke, he said. Yeah, just to the northeast of the smoke. That Fremen, do you see the tree line to the east of the green smoke at the end of the runway? Two runway glass traffic protocol. Fremen's looking. Inside, thanks. Uh, is it further east than that large black smoke cloud? It's more or less right in line with that black uh, smoke to the east of the airfield. That's going to be it. You're cleared for gun runs all along that tree line from south to north, south to north only. Do not put your rounds down near the smoke. Uh, one, this is the the, uh, smoke. second pass off dry. Uh, we can't get the <laughs> off our uh, We're clear gun run on the tree line south to north. I do that. We need those ASAP, please. Should uh, verify LZ clear? 
uh, negative. LZ is not clear. We've got a moving armored column in the perimeter of the airfield. Gonna try to attack it here for you. Snoopy, new picture. Arrakis, I see tracers near the green smoke coming from the north. Engage the tracers. Engage the tracers. From the three ones in from the south. Bullseye 293-109, track southeast, 3000, hostile. Back A is rolling in on a Zeus. Back A, rifle, Zeus. Arrakis 4-1. Snoopy, priority traffic. I need a uh, flight dispatch for uh, cap. Copy that. Take Fremen flight. Copy Fremen flight. Fremen flow 270. Break uh, FAC A for Shaddam. Once I shack one more Zeus here, you should be cleared to ingress to the colored smoke from the south, direct from the south. How copy? We've got a rifle out on it. You're cleared hot on the rest of the targets. Copy that. Cleared hot the rest of those targets. Arrakis, uh, Shadab, we're going to hold three and a half miles to the southeast of the field until that LZ is clear. Copy that. LZ should be more or less clear at this point. Uh, approach cautiously from the southeast. Biased more to the south. FAC A is just going to keep engaging targets for you. Uh, be advised, numerous infantry firefights to the south of the airfield. Uh, Shadam, just do me a favor, look over it one more time and then report me what you see. Copy that. that uh, describe their position. Multiple APCs, they shook or just went down in the area. Copy that, you're clear to engage that target. Parking in flight's also going to be working it over with you guys. Treaties 1-2, in from the east. All flights, all flights. I know we've reduced the uh, stringency of the control. Just be advised to be very careful and stick to the IP and the egress points. Trace 1-1, one, one, IP inbound. Uh, Rexus 3-1, Rexus 
Sorry, what was that uh, for? So I got Retreaties. Snoopy has lost contact at Retreaties 1 1 status. Copy, stand by. Copy that. Are you able, are you able to Snoopy engage with them? Okay, rifle infantry. Flight FAC A, you're cleared to approach the airfield cautiously from the south tracking. east. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Good on flight FAC A. Choose one to strike ABC. Tracking. Roger that, good dot. Tracking. tracking. Shut down, uh, we're going in now. Should on flight avoid the tree line to the southeast of the airfield. Tracking. Head up through the Tracking. flat desert on Tracking. the southeast part of the airfield. Shut up. Tracking. 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 Snoopy, nails, or spike, make 29. Spike from a MiG-29. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Good arm, hold for a moment. 
engaging the disease. Shack on the target. Shack on the target. Shack on the target. That too. What's uh, what's your weapon state? To uh, I have uh, 13 BLM 90 rockets and and Snoopy Hawk and four flight is in fact actually bingo heading to the tankers. Single helo just went down northern side of the airfield. Copy that. Any of the Shaddam helos make it onto the deck? Shaddam flight check in. to uh, keep engaging targets around the airfield if you can. How's your fuel state? Shadam 5-3, we have a hind occupied ground. Two is 4.7 state. Copy that, you're doing better than me. Uh, so, I'm seeing targets to the north of the airfield now. Any CAS assets still in the stack looking for a 9-line? Copy that. There's going to be a visual talk on. Lines 1 through 3 are all pre-planned. I have tanks in the open shelling the airfield to the northwest of the target area along the line and road on the southern end of the town. Uh, 
copy of lines one to three are pre-planned tanks shelling the area northwest of the target road south. Yep, they're right on the southern edge of the town, just to the northwest of the blue smoke. You're cleared hot once you have that target in sight. Stand by, searching. Uh, Stomp 5-3, our uh, hinds are being pounded right now. Uh, one of them's already confirmed destroyed. Uh, they are to the southwest of the green smoke as well. Copy that. They are clear to... They're clear to respawn if required. Northwest of the green smoke. Northwest, copy. Ash, uh, I got visual on um, troops firing on uh, from the uh, fuelers. Copy that. You're clear to engage those guys immediately. Roger, true, one, three, two, in from the east, to from the south. Copy. Roger. Still be picture, picture claim. All flights, all flights. We're very intermixed. Watch for traffic. Atreides 1 1, take your flight altitude, uh, Angels 2 5 up to 3 0. You can, uh, you, you can flight within your flight that way. You have Angels 2 5 to 3 0. Dom, this is uh, back A. What direction is that fire coming from on your helos? Uh, it was coming from the uh, south, about heading 120, roughly. Copy that. It's coming from the tree lines, I'm just out of range. Copy that. Back A is rolling in on danger close target just to the north of the airfield. Permission to engage immediately. Copy engaging from the east. To in from the southeast. Snoopy, Emperor Flight, inbound as frag. Uh, to be careful, there are uh, our helos just landed on the airfield. Emperor Snoopy, continue as frag, uh, climb maintain, Angels 3 0. To be copy, I'm showing from the helos. Do you see what I put the Zero, direct to the overhead of the airfield, established tap, uh, VAC A is on the station. Negative, uh, two. Flight zero six zero, Angels three. Impact on troops in the open. Assuming copies impact, Emperor, correction, Angels three zero. Um, flight back A. Eh? Is that fire lessened any? 
Is the fire uh, yes, one bomb remaining is going to hold it up in order to stop the fire from the south. Yes, we should have three. Right, 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 Copy that, Shadow. All flights, all flights working, Cass. Shift your fires to the east and north of the airfield. Search for targets east and north of the airfield. Specifically, east and north of the green smoke. Copy that. Uh, confirm that's a friendly helo inbound from the east. Hey, from from the helo, uh, just broke the airfield threshold. Copy that. Back A, rolling in on armored vehicle. Okay, rifle, BMP, north of the field. I did not see that. We have phosphor units in the town to the east of the runway that, apparent, that are trying to shoot at our stolen helicopters. Copy that. You're cleared hot on them. In the town to the east of the field, is that the one that's kind of in the green farming fields? Roger that. One has eyes on the town, looking for targets. Uh, should we, uh, should we do the uh, road is kind of L-shaped there, a couple of trees. Roger, southeast of the green smoke in a small town, and the edge of it is, looks like a true concentration with the farmer. Treaties 1 through Shack 7 APC. Jack Atreides. Atreides 1 3 Snoopy Sega. Yeah, 3, I'm looking. I think I'm looking at the right town. Oh, I think I see the targets now.
the Dom, if you're in contact with those hands, uh, we got a moving uh, column moving from the east towards the airfield. Moving in on the airfield. Uh, you have a column moving toward the green smoke. Shut off three. Yeah, moving towards the green smoke. Uh, Fat Gay's rolling in on it now. Yep, I see it. Rolling in. Yeah, this, um, these guys are stationary. Uh, should Shaddam uh, abandon? I'm mostly in park here. Copy that. Stand by. Rifle. Yeah, they look like they're firing on the hill. Yep, roger that. Shaddam flight, if you got as many people as you can have, yeah, go ahead and lift off and head south. Impact. Good hit one, good hit on the first uh, vehicle in the column. Uh, column has stopped, it is now moving into the field east of the road. Two Roger south. that, one's got him. Snoopy, Snoopy. Helos are bugging out faster. Clear to engage. You're clear to engage all targets. Shoot is one two going in with guns. Targets south. Copy that. Threats twenty three millimeter SA eight north of the field. Copy. Shoot and flight flow east zero nine zero. Snoopy says again. Initial vector zero nine zero for shoot and flight. Shadam's taking fire, uh. Yeah, Shadam, flow direct south, 180. Sorry, Snoopy. You got it. Yeah, flow south, 180. Uh, that'll avoid the AAA for you, Shadam. That trades for one flowing south. Trades flight. Sorry about that. I took a call sign. Sorry about that. Uh, Arrakis four one. Do you have about uh, five ten more mics up on station time? And probably do about five minutes of on station time. Copy 
if I can get you on uh, five more mics, get a couple talk-ons for Emperor Flight. They just got on station, uh, cast capable. I'm done. What's our fuel status? Emperor Flight, Emperor Flight, this is the fat gang. Blocked. Break, break. Uh, yeah, this is Sweet. Sweet dropped on the Vector. possible triple A side, destroyed the side, two, two, and now five. armored vehicles are moving into the, the vicinity of the airfield. Repeat, armored vehicles are moving in on the airfield. Possible T-80. Iraq is 4-1, over to you, the show is yours. Stand by one. Uh, roger that, are they moving in from the north? Alright, 5-3 is clear, uh, should we start uh, uh, moving in from east to west? Same direction that the column came from, but out of the south. Snoopy, Emperor I can I get a chan uh, channel check on Arrakis? Yeah, Arrakis 4 is here for you. Um, looks Arrakis like... Arrakis 4-1, radio check. Rack is 4-1 is here. Targets are as follows for Emperor Flight. All targets outside of the airfield perimeter are valid targets. We have moving vehicles coming in from the east and static positions to the west of the airfield. How copy? Three, looks like that column is no longer moving. Yep, three has eyes on. Um, three is Winchester, but we keep an eye on in order to call us out. Copy that. Three is uh, still stage 12.7. Copy that, three. I'm envious of all your gas right now. Flight. I got a target for you. Infantry and Z ZU-23 on a truck on the roll to the south on the perimeter of the airfield. Uh, you're cleared to engage immediately if you can find it. Emperor copies. Looking south of runway for target vehicle. They're right along the berm there. You can see muzzle flashes. They're pretty big. Any remaining helos on the airfield, take off immediately. Take off immediately and get out of there. Back A, rifle. Checking in. Uh, one hip made it out, one high made it out. Three, we have 
up eyes on friendly units still engaged with hostile units. It seems that we didn't have enough helicopters to pick up. This is the first flight two times F-16 checking in. Space flight uh, Snoopy 1-1, one, one. stand by. Snoopy 1-1, one, one. Fat Guy Arrakis 4-1, what is the status on those MiGs you just uh, gave us a bra for earlier? Yep, Snoopy, pictured. Single group, Bullseye 292-99, track southeast 3000, hot, hostile. Copy that, we're bugging out. All flights, all flights, friendlies are off the airfield and the airfield is being overrun. All flights, egress south, cleared off station. Emperor 1-1, one, one, Snoopy, cover the egress, uh, stay off station, give you about five more mics. Emperor switching to air to air, covering at egress. Spice, flow, vector 325. Switch red crown on button 305. Hey, I'm flown south. Uh, what's your position? Spice 21 Snoopy video check. Snoopy, Asfrag, stay on station, five more mics. Hey, you up? Snoopy Arrakis 4 1. Oh, uh, do you think those MiGs are going to catch up with our helos? Negative, I have Emperor 1 1 uh, on escort. Copy that. Arrakis 4 1 is fuel critical heading to the tanker. Uh, 1 this is 3. Uh, 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 friendly troops are uh, still engaged with enemies. Uh, we're starting the gun run and then climbing back to altitude. Copy that. You're cleared for one gun run, then flow south. Gun 
Copy that. One's egress and course 10 to fuel for the Maneuver southeast. Semi. Bullseye 288, 61, 28,000, track southeast, hostile. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Emperor, Snoopy, Tra recommend commit. Emperor, Snoopy, Emperor, commit. Tracking. Emperor 11 Snoopy. Tracking. Bogey Dope. Tracking. Tracking. Raw 260. 27,000. Track southeast. Tracking. Hostile. Tracking. Snoopy 278460. Tracking. Tracking. Snoopy, new picture. Two groups. Echelon left. South group bullseye 287. 50. North group, bullseye 291-50. Tracking, tracking, Snoopy. tracking. South group, north group, leaning on the spice, 2-1, spice, 2-2. Two, two. Tracking. Tracking, tracking. Snoopy, new picture. Single group. Tracking. Bullseye, 291, 51, 11,000, maneuver. Hostile. Tracking. Three, Tracking. switch frequency, 255. Five. Three. Tracking. 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 Emperor. Snoopy, flow 270. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Snoopy, South Group faded. You picture. Tracking. Tracking. Picture claim. Snoopy, bogey out. Snoopy, Emperor, picture claim. Tracking, tracking. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Uh, targets uh, advise when uh, Winchester air to ground. Emperor Cop. Texaco 2 1 frequency. This is uh, Arrakis 4 1. Radio check. Lima Charlie. Copy that. Uh, low on gas here. Not quite a full emergency yet, but uh, you guys can take a look. Single ship. Uh, Crash have to come we back. should uh, uh, we'll uh the hose is pretty quick, I think. They've been on there for a minute or two now. Copy. Emperor one one. Emperor one four. Uh, Snoopy. Uh one point four. Please zero one one hundred and thirty over to the left here. Advise uh flights uh, are egressing out and flight is currently anchored to support the egress. Thank you. Sliding in observation left. Copy that. 
Uh, Rackets 4-1 will go for the uh, right basket. Shit, I did it before. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Tracking, tracking. is good. Sloopy, Harkonnen, 4-1, holding hands with 4-2, off the tankers, inbound for waypoint 3. Slide and right. Harkonnen, 2-4, copies. Uh, most flights are RTB. You have uh, Emperor 1 in the AO uh, as your only factor of traffic. Copy that. That was a photo finish. Thanks for letting me slide in there, Marines. Stronger, we take, took off. 
I'm thinking we head back to H3 because the commander of the airbase I took off on the support line to me. Altitude block 25 to 30. Breaking. Harkin in flight. Altitude block 20 to 25. How copy? I went over his head to authorize his command. Harkin looking like we're probably going to RTB then if we are going to ask before you. Okay, copy so uh, ROE is anything outside of the direction of the runway is cleared hot. Yeah, exactly. Copy that. All right, Marines. Uh, Arrakis flight. We're gonna head on home here. We're almost done. If you'd like to join up. Copy that. We'll wait for you then. Be Arrakis 4-1 on a uh, start flight, looking for a frequency change. Five left, uh, the map for control. Arrakis 4-1 flight, uh, frequency change approved, see ya. See ya. Alright, we're, we're gonna go to uh, Damascus control. Spice 2-2, stand by for situation update. Spice flight, uh, break. Emperor, take Angels. 25-30, that is your new altitude block, Angels 2530 for Emperor Flight. Spice Flight, you have altitude block 20-25. Alright, guess four ones up. Rockets Flight, the Matrix Control, Radar Contest, Flight Heading 163. For, uh... 
flight level 200. Uh, Company at Damascus Control, we're holding hands with uh, Atreides 1 flight heading back to H3. I don't know if they checked in yet. Hi, uh, Trees flight just checked in, or I guess nobody heard me. Uh, Trees flight, are you the one uh, at uh, 0340 miles off H3? Uh, confirm that that's us. Trees flight, Damascus. Control fly heading 164 descend and maintain fly level 200. Three is 1 1. Three is 1 1. I'll let you handle the comms. Two two seven five. Roger. Stand by. One's up. Welcome aboard. Are you? Alright, we're actually going to bring it uh, right a little bit to our waypoint so we can get established on the runway heading. Is four ones breaking off for a moment. Access control. Arrakis 4 1 radio check. Vector to a final approach course, turn heading 165, descend and maintain fly level 100.
Uh, Treaties one flight. Are you on this freak still? Yep, roger that. I'm sliding out to the right because I cannot be on your interflight and Damascus control at the same time. Roger that. Are you going to turn left right now? In about 10 seconds. Roger. Rackus 4 1 is here. Uh, 
Trace flight, checking in. Trinity's flight, Hotel Street Tower, you are clear to land on runway 29 via overhead brake, left pattern, direction, right pattern. Wind is 300 at 20 miles, altimeter is 3001. Uh, Trinity's on one, copies, right brake. Command echelon left for the formation.
eight three tower radio check. Tower. Copy that. Just, uh, are we cleared to land? Uh, yes, sir. You are cleared to land. I'll run my 2 9 -er. Copy that. Could land or runway 2 9. And the wreck is 4183. Ground cleared to taxi to spot at your own discretion. And I cleared to spot at own discretion. Uh, Iraq is 4 and 403. Four, 